आज के एपिसोड में हमारे साथ है मिस्टर ए एस एन मूर्ति एक विजनरी लीडर जिन्होंने रेलवे इंजीनियरिंग और इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर में अपनी एक पहचान बनाई है उनका कैरियर सिग्नल और टेलीकम्युनिकेशन से लेकर टॉप कॉर्पोरेट लीडरशिप तक रहा है जहां उन्होंने ऑपरेशंस और सेफ्टी में एक्सीलेंस ड्राइव किया है अगर आपको ये क्लिप पसंद आए तो पूरा पॉडकास्ट जरूर देखें लिंक आपको मिल जाएगी डिस्क्रिप्शन एरिया के अंदर चलिए शुरू करते हैं 35 years of government uh, yes. with railways and then 15 years of private with re- again railways expertise so 50 years of experience what after that life after 50 like 50 years of work life what changed great life it was <laughs> i started doing bhagavad gita okay for banjara people banjara when, means lambadi when you say i started doing uh, bhagavad gita weren't you a spiritual person before that Were you a spiritual person all your life? No. Did you read Bhagavad Gita regularly in your no, whole life? No. So what changed <laughs> after your fifty years of life? Maybe something I wanted to do the community service because they have given. So let's uh, talk about the whole community uh, service thing. As you mentioned, you have never uh, even been actively into spirituality. Never been into Bhagavad Gita reading for your own knowledge. What suddenly changed? Do Maybe something. I don't know. I really do not know, but especially to the Banjara community, it's called Lambada. Okay. Uh, I learned about Gita because of them only, so I thought I must do something for them. So, what was so, your connect with Banjara people? Nothing, no connection at all. Absolutely no connection. No family connection. No, no one knows connection. them. Nothing. 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 No family connection. Nothing. Okay. Huh? You are not from the same community, also. I'm so, what were the challenges? Uh, Initially, that? yes, there was a. Tough thing from the other communities. They threw you me out from their groups. <laughs> <laughs> But the top guy, he, 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 I talked to him. Uh, yeah, he has understood. <laughs> Then he is cool. He said nothing. To so now I have great acceptors. I am <laughs> well respected. I can go to anyone. I can speak anyone. They know most of them. They know about me. And actually, the spiritual leader of the Banjara is from Andhra Pradesh. Okay. From Anantpur district, Kutti. He was born there. Okay. Then, the Nirmala was in Pohra Gat in Yavat Mall district of Maharashtra. Okay. So my book also says Seva Gat to Pohra Gat. Uh, when you say your book, yeah, the book can we? Can we? Oh, so this is the book, Seva Gat to Pohra Gat. So this is the journey of uh, Sant Sevalal Maharaj. What does this book capture? This book is a. Uh, the teachings and the life history spiritual history of their spiritual leader sant sevalal maharaj okay he is the only one spiritual leader for them okay mm-hmm. so the trust president and others they requested me can you write in english because they have a common language to speak gorboli but there is no common written language andhra banjara write in telugu marathi banjara write in marathi and uh, Kannada, they write Kannada. There is no common language for them, hmm. so they cannot. Written communication is a big problem between these them. Okay. So. And they are also very financially ba- uh, yeah. behind also. Like I mean. Yeah. Uh, so they wanted a, a book in English so that all Bengalis can read throughout the world, throughout India. So, so this be- is the first book in English. So before I talk about this first book, is this your first book? Yeah, it's in Delhi. Uh, you can call yes. This is the first book, and for all purpose, I have also edited a small book. I co-authored a small book mm-hmm. uh, that is for children, uh, which is not a very great book. Writing a book itself needs a lot of uh, yeah. talent, a lot of uh, zeal, energy in it yourself, and also you know going through connecting with different people to get the information. Yeah. So how easy was it, or how hard was it for you to get? And the, also writing about their spiritual. person when you don't know anything about yeah. you're not part also of the community also must have ch- and you're not part of the community must also have its own challenges yes yeah. one is reading part of it by total dedication morning 4:30 i get up take bath in respect to the season okay puja sit before the computer no i work for myself 8 to 10 hours per day so this took all myself because they wanted it in that i prayed that was their prayer day So it took almost about six to seven months uh, to script the book, and I, I sent them the draft. No, no. And they had some changes. Some their own leaders they have gone through. They are very happy. In fact, there were 
minimal or no collections are existing for what I wrote. They were so nice that they kept all their archives at my disposal. Mm. If a book I wanted, I want Marathi books. I know a little bit of Marathi. I can read. I can understand a little bit of Marathi because I worked there. So I wanted to Marathi books of the previous the old Marathi books, and they sent it to me. They the took all the pages to keep their material at my disposal. No, and many archives, many documents. So, what is the kind of research you had to do to uh, create lot, this lot book? Of books, lot of books. Lot. Oh. That's why I made this book in a way that it can help the research scholars. those who want to do research on the life of shavala or on the banjara culture so i made the ref- cross reference so we'll start with the writing a book part if someone is inspired and wants to take inspiration from you taking you know as a artist what they do is take inspiration from many places so you had lot of their information given by them but you merged them and you put that everything on your computer what about the graphics part because i see a lot of uh, no. this is not like a standard book this is yeah. a very colorful uh, book yeah. with a lot of uh, amazing pictures and everything so i would like to go to that part <laughs> i would most s- of the pictures are i developed by ai artificial intelligence i developed few pictures before i ahead. ask the next question what is your age right now uh, true age <laughs> <laughs> true <laughs> 79 completed 80 and dead wow yeah. and now you say you are using ai to yeah i write your first book how many images have you generated till now i must have generated 1000 uh, i can say because to get a right picture i may have to generate at least five pictures wow. out of the five three variants i picked up good variants so the best one i adopted so more than 1000 i must have generated it what do you mean by generation of a picture so what what you are trying to tell me is the pictures which i look in this are not real they are all generated Yeah, some are hand drawn. So, like After for the example, this, this is generated. This is generated. Yeah, is it okay. not a real person? Yeah. It looks more than a, like yeah. a real person. Yeah. So, how okay. did you do this? Before that, what prompted me to look at the AI is there are some hand drawn pictures. Yes. There. Yeah. They were not to my satisfaction. Hmm. The artist, I paid the artist. Right. In fact, I paid from my pocket. That's AI generated. This is also AI. Okay. Yeah. So this will be the perfect answer. Now, what was the reason for you to go for AI and not continue with the hand-drawn picture? Yeah, I will show you the comparison between that. I was not able to get what I wanted exactly. Sometimes I used to get frustrated. You no, know, I should get what I wanted it. So one or two pictures were not to my satisfaction. I asked the artist to change two or three times. He changed it. He did his best, but he has a limitation to understand what I had in my brain. Maybe he has a good uh, skill. No, I don't uh, underestimate his skill, but. So But your expectations, which are in your mind, are not my being mind. taken care of. Maybe, maybe. You know, that's interesting. But this is a very big, uh, you know, uh, change. Like you know, I I can say that someone using technology at this age and achieving something which is actually usable. Like this is not uh, something which we it see normally. It has to be usable and printable. So printable. it means it has to uh, reach some level of acceptability. Huh. And uh, needs a lot of effort. I think I don't think it comes. Uh, in fact, my uh, next book. What I'm now doing it is about uh, Pandar Pandarpur in Maharashtra, Pandarinath Pandarpur. Okay. There, one of my friends' couple they walked for four hundred kilometers deliberately to walk. Okay. And they did not have a camera at the time, so now I'm writing their experiences and entirely hundred percent AI generated pictures. So you're bringing their memories in a visual format. Yes, visual format. So they, you're speaking to them. You're t- what all they are sharing to you uh-huh. you are just going to showcase that in a visual photographic memory format which is generated by ai yeah yeah and uh, and almost all i generated around 50 pictures already by this time so like that i generated almost 50 to 60 acceptable till now and they are so happy they re- literally cried on phone uh-huh. after seeing these pictures said we missed the camera but now we are not missing anything they i recreated the entire scene of it you know? wow. it's a god is not our greatness It's a pondering of Vital who made me to perhaps do it. It's all mm. nothing. Uh, actually, I don't take credit anything of it. No. Post retirement, you have got more busy. I see. Yeah, more busy. Really, because <laughs> I used to take early air, weekend offs. Now there is no such a concept. <laughs> <laughs> morning Sunday also I get up at morning four thirty five o'clock. 
so do you work for the whole day earlier uh, office was shut down on weekends <laughs> earlier your artist was not available weekends <laughs> now your artist your assistant is your ai which is always available <laughs> computer is always available <laughs> and you are working on multiple things you have written one book you are writing another uh, book for the kids you are also writing for the pandurpur pandurang and other this thing hmm. so two books are now i am writing simultaneously both are packed with ai pictures okay <laughs> and the children's book especially you they like uh, the, the entire message i want to send only through the pictures so 200 pictures out of which 100 pictures i generated already so you your know? your own selection rate is very tough very stringent that okay it has to be yeah. this quality only then only it approves yeah yeah yeah, yeah. उम्मीद है ये वीडियो आपके लिए यूजफुल और इंटरेस्टिंग रहा होगा इस वीडियो को लाइक करना ना भूलें और टफ स्टोरी को यूट्यूब और सारे सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म पर फॉलो और सब्सक्राइब भी जरूर कर दीजिए पूरा पॉडकास्ट देखने के लिए लिंक मैंने डिस्क्रिप्शन एरिया में दे दी है जहां पर जाकर जरूर चेक करें सो ये था एक काफी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो और मैं आपसे मिलता हूँ हमारे अगले वीडियो में तब तक के लिए गुड बाय